हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द इकोनॉमिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फार मैनेजमेंट एंड आल्सो वन ऑफ द टॉपिक ऑफ आवर कोर्स फार मैनेजमेंट एंड प्रोडक्शन इकोनॉमिक्स लेट मी स्टार्ट विथ मीनिंग एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट सो अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इज द इनकम that could have been received if the input had been used in its most profitable alternative use this means that the input will be losing income from the alternative use and this income foregone by this input from its alternative use is called opportunity cost so real fact in this scenario is if an any input is already used in a particular production process then it has no alternative use at that particular point of time and this means that the input will be losing income from the alternative use and this income foregone by this input from its alternative use it means uh, opportunity cost is the value of product not produced because the input was used for another purpose or we can say income to be received from the alternative uses of that particular resource is sacrificed by the use of this particular resource in a another purpose or the another activity so this particular principle guides the farmer to recognize or to find the best alternative use of the available resources and allocate or or use the available resource resources in a most profitable use therefore the concept of opportunity cost has a bearing on the decision making process of the farmer and particularly decisions related to input use in a particular production activity then opportunity cost is also referred to as the real cost of an input and real cost of an input is not the purchase price of the input it is the income earned by the input in its alternative use which is the next best opportunity this particular principle guides the farmer or the producer in a such a way that if returns from the current use of the input are less than its opportunity cost then the decision is to be changed it means income from the current use of input is less then farmer or producer can allocate his inputs or resources to next best alternative use or next best production activity in order to get maximum income from that particular economic unit let me explain one example if a farmer has rupees 1000 at his disposal and he has three options that is investing on sugarcane or cotton or paddy and here it is the amount of liquid capital used that is 1000 rupees and here it is the corresponding marginal value product paddy 2000 sugar cane 3200 and cotton 2200 so as given in a table farmer is with 1000 capital 
and har also armor is with three investment options that is paddy sugar cane and cotton and if farmer has invested 1000 rupees in sugar cane then he can get rupees 3200 marginal value product after using the available capital capital then farmer is foregoing or sacrifice two another options that is paddy and cotton by spending or investing on sugar cane so if farmer has invested on sugar cane or in most profitable uh, profitable enterprise then farmer is with another two investment options that is paddy and sugar cane among paddy and cotton cotton is giving greater marginal value product than paddy and which is the next best alternative to sugar cane and which is the opportunity cost of that particular production activity in this way we can estimate opportunity cost of our use of available resources and this particular principle guides the farmer or producer to recognize or to identify best alternative uses of resources and to estimate opportunity cost for better decision making on the use of available resources in order to get maximum income from the economic unit so it is all about short summary of principle of opportunity cost thank you